There are a lot of different forms and usages for solar energy. The type of solar energy that I most closely work with is called photovoltaics. And it involves the conversion of sunlight directly to electricity. The word photovoltaic comes from two words. The word photo, which means light, and the word voltaic, which has to do with electricity. And so photovoltaic combines light and electricity. This is a photovoltaic cell. The sunlight simply strikes the surface of the cell. Electricity is produced and it is collected using these metal contacts. You can then plug in some wires under the back of it and power something such as a small little motor. Now if I put the solar cell in the, in the light, the motor starts to turn. This motor is now being powered just by light. Now if I take the solar panel out of the light, the motor stops. If I turn it again back towards the light, the motor starts again. Now if you took a bunch of these solar cells and assembled them together into a solar panel, you can then power much bigger things because now you have many cells operating together. Our main objective is to produce electricity using solar cells at the lowest cost possible. This is a test site where we generate electricity through photovoltaics. This is four photovoltaic modules hooked together into what we call an array. The sunlight strikes these four photovoltaic modules. The power is then routed down through wires inside this conduit. The power runs out of the control box and into the building here. It provides power to these electrical outlets, these lights, and even a refrigerator. Power is the rate at which you consume or produce energy. If you have a 100 watt light bulb and you use it for one hour, you've just consumed 100 watt hours of energy. The amount of energy used equals the amount of power times the time that you used it. So 100 watts times one hour is 100 watt hours. Now, if you leave that light bulb on for 10 hours, you've now used 1,000 watt hours, which is the same as a kilowatt hour, because a kilowatt is 1,000 watts. When you get an electric bill, it has on there how many kilowatt hours that you used that month, and you pay a price for each one of those kilowatt hours. Having access to electricity allows you to do a lot of things that you can't do without. But fossil fuels are going to run out. It's not clear when, but they will run out. So we're going to have to switch to some types of renewable energy just to sustain our energy appetite. The United States can solve a lot of problems that we have currently with our current sources of energy. Um, coal and oil are the most widely used energies, but they have the problem of pollution. Now, photovoltaics does not have that problem. Solar electricity is going to play a very important role in providing power. It also does not harm the environment. It's good for mankind, and this is what we are trying to do. I love my work. You will have that satisfaction of knowing that you're doing something that, that's helping the world. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. <laughs>